In this video, you will learn how to provide overall feedback for assignments submitted in Brightspace. You'll also learn how to attach links to the feedback that you provided, how to leave inline annotation feedback, and where to go to customize your feedback settings. To leave overall feedback on an assignment, we need to first go to the Assignments tool and find a specific assignment that we wish to leave feedback on. While in the Assignments tool, select the downward facing arrow next to the assignment you wish to begin evaluating. Then select View Submissions. It's worth noting that you can also get to this evaluation area through the Quick Eval tool. While you're in the evaluation area, select the Evaluate button next to the student's name who you wish to begin evaluating. From here, we can select the file name towards the left of the screen to view the submission of our student. This will only appear if your assignment was a file submission type. If you selected for a text response, then the student's text will appear to the left of the screen. Then we can begin typing out an overall grade. Below the grade section, we can type out overall feedback to our student. We also have the option to leave audio feedback or video feedback to our student as well by recording ourselves on video or recording our microphone. We can also insert an attachment or link with the feedback to the student. Files that we attach can come from either OneDrive, Google Drive, or from our own computer. We can also include links to any URLs in the feedback as well, or we can link specifically to content in our course. If your student submitted a file for an assignment, you have the ability to use the inline annotation toolbar. This allows you to highlight, draw, insert text, insert notes, and more on the student's submission. Please note, however, that the inline annotation toolbar is only available for file type submissions. This means if you have a different submission option, like a text submission for your assignment, then the inline annotation toolbar will not be available to you. On the left side of the toolbar, you'll see a few visibility options. This will allow you to control which page of the document you're viewing, and it will also allow you to zoom in and zoom out on the document. On the right side of the toolbar, you'll see a few icons that will allow you to insert things onto the document. For example, this highlighted area, when selected, will allow you to insert freehand drawings onto the document, freeform highlights, text highlights, or an eraser option which will allow you to erase any drawings you insert on the screen. I'm going to choose the text highlighting option. 
When I choose this, I can select any area of the text on the screen that will be highlighted for the student to see. This highlighted color can be changed over to the left side. I can also insert sticky notes onto the document as well. When you use the sticky note option, you can choose which type of icon you would like to insert on the screen and which color you would like the icon to be. In this example, I'm choosing this speech bubble icon and I'm going to make my color blue. Then I can click anywhere on the screen to insert that icon. And when it's inserted, I can type in a note for the student. When a student goes to view the document, all they need to do is hover over the icon to see the note. The annotation toolbar will also allow you to insert a text box onto the screen as well as inserting various shapes. If you would like, you can print out the file with all annotations left on it. Or you can download it to your device. When you choose to download, you can choose either to download the original file or download the file with the annotations you included. Once you are finished, you can either publish your feedback so the student can immediately view it, or you can save it as a draft to be published later. If you would like to use the annotation toolbar when providing feedback to your students, you must make sure that your assignment is set up for file submissions. Another thing you must do is make sure that your setting is enabled for the annotations. To check for that setting, go to your desired assignment and select the downward facing arrow next to it. Then select Edit Assignment. From here, Go to the Evaluation and Feedback section over to the right. And make sure that you have selected the checkbox that states Make Annotation Tools Available for Assessment. Once you've confirmed that, hit Save and Close. Thank you for watching. Please stay up to date on all Brightspace related content by subscribing to our channel.